let's try to solve this problem. And uh, um, it's a quite interesting problem because uh, uh, it doesn't really have a solution in the in the real numbers, right? So suppose you take the natural log on both sides of the equation, then what you end up with is x log one equals to natural log of two, right? And we know that log one is actually zero, right? So, 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 so that's gonna x is gonna equal to uh, x is gonna equal to log two divided by log one, right? But that's that's not a real solution. It's not a real number solution, right? So, so if you are, if you, if our solution domain is limited to real numbers, then there is no solution, right? But but if we extend our domain to complex numbers, um, then we can actually find a solution. And here we have to use the Euler's formula. Euler's formula. Right, it's a complex number formula, and uh, uh, it's called the most beautiful formula in mathematics, right? Because it combines lots of different things together in like just a one simple equation. So so in the complex domain, what exactly is one, right? What exactly is one? So suppose we have the complex plan. So this is a real real axis, this is a imaginary axis, right? One is over here, right? So one so this is ninety degrees, right? Ninety degrees. So uh, this is the origin, right? So, um, so what's going to be the angle for this particular vector, right? The complex angle for this f vector is what? It could be zero, right? It should be zero, right? The c what's the actually the complex angle, right? The complex angle is actually the angle between this vector and the real axis, right? It could be zero, right? The angle could be zero, but it could also be two k pi, as long as it's a integer times of pi, then it's always going to work, right? It doesn't have to be exactly zero. So if k equals to zero, then the angle is zero, right? You get one, right? But as long as it's a integer multiples of two pi, um, the angle is still going to work. It's still going to give you one. So one equals, in the complex plane, one equals to what? One actually equals to um, e to the i times the angle. The angle is going to be 2k pi, right? 1 actually equals to that, right? Um, so now now let's look at if so we have a solution here. So so log 1, log 1 is going to equal to a log 1 is going to equal to the natural log of e to the i 2k pi, right? And that's going to equal to a, that's going to equal to i 2k pi. Right, and now we can actually bring this natural uh, the, the the expression for log one into this expression. So x is going to equal to log two divided by two k pi times i, right? And that's going to equal to minus i log two two k pi, right? And here we have to pay attention to the value of k. K cannot be equal to zero, right? K not equal to zero, right? If k equal to zero, then we still don't have a complex solution. So as long as it k is an integer that's not zero, then we have a solution, right? And our solution is uh, is this complex number.